Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to learn today is how to solve some quadratic equations. Alright, I'm assuming we're just trying to find out what x is. Well, let's do it. Okay, we'll start with this first one right here. We've got 5x squared plus 24 equals 54. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to solve quadratic equations. Let's just straight up, just, just say it with all our heart. There's a lot of ways, okay? So I'm going to go the easiest route, and that's just getting x by itself. So we just get rid of the stuff furthest away from it on that side of the equal sign. That goes away. All right, that equals 30. And then we got to get rid of the 5, so divide by 5. Cancels out. That's x squared equals 6. All right, now you still got to get rid of this squared. What's the opposite of squaring something? And that's right, square root. That cancels out x equals, and you want to put plus or negative, or plus or minus radical 6. You know why? Because right here, when you have x squared, you could have 6 squared, which would be, um, what did I just say? Oh, crud. My brain farted. I apologize. I'm sorry. I saw a deer jumping. I was like, hey deer, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. And I was like, okay, I need to get back to work. Alright, so it could be 6 squared. Um, and that would equal this number, or it could be negative 6 squared, because whatever they are is going to equal the same thing. Does that make sense? No? Okay, well, just know that that's what it is, okay? So, um, and it's not 6, it's actually the radical of 6. I'm just saying that whenever we, you know, square this, it can be positive or negative. Just, just know that you get plus, plus or minus. I'm not good at explaining that, apparently. Okay, cool. So you got that answer right there. Now let's solve this one. You're going to do it the same route, okay? Now, I don't know if your teacher wanted to do, like, completing the square or, you know, quadratic equation or anything like that. If they did, do that. I'm showing you the easy way. So we add 9 there, add 9 there. It goes away. 2x squared equals 14. Divide by 2. So both sides of that. And then we do the same thing. Square root, square root. So it's x equals positive or negative radical 7 and you're done if you can simplify your radical you should um, most of the time you don't have to though because you know life works out and such or whatever hey Tyler here don't forget to subscribe check out tarveracademy.com alright check out the Facebook page we got Twitter we got hands we got people on the band if you want an easier way to go to this YouTube is what the jazz.com and check out tarveracademy.com full lessons and such and i hope you have a great day also subscribe to this channel if you get a chance thanks bye